Well, hello everyone. I'm doing it here with another LEGO Star Wars 2023 review, and this one's on the 501st Clone Troopers Battle Pack, or um, or better known in the community, 501st Battle Pack 2, the sequel set. Take one us. So on the front of the box here, we which have the LEGO Star Wars logos and picture of the set in action, and the four main things included, and and same kind of border as we've seen since last year, but with a different color to the strip. But yeah. And recommended ages is six and up. Set number uh, seven five three four five, and has a hundred nineteen pieces. And on the side of the box, side of which do you see the Clone Wars twentieth anniversary set. Even though this set of which is kind of based is more based upon Battlefront two, but at least, still nice to see there since workable with both that and Clone Wars, but yeah. And on the back side, which we would have the whole set in a resting position and two of the features of it, and Lego.com in there. Now, on to the instruction booklet, which is still quite small well, for that, but at least still workable, but... You see a little different rendering than that. Then add a then advertisement for it going over to paper bags and add for Lego Builder or app. And then how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set, which is three pages, add for rebuild the world. And then advertisement of the other sets of this wave and last building step. So on to the four mini things included. We which have the 501st officer of which since all of which kind of similar to the last file first troopers, but aside from that, or helmet pieces, which I think could be the same, but actually just a little bit different than that, or kind of the same, but yeah. But of course, the only difference is how the accessory hold bits on the sides, which, like we saw on the 212 troopers in the ATTE set in last year's wave, of course. And also, what everyone's kind of saying is. That is there like two holes to this? Well, as you see, there's just one hole on there. But if you noticed on the box, or on the box cover, it's like lower down and like photoshopped to be on there. So like that. But on the actual ones, it just it's just molded on. It's not a hole. So there's just one hole for that. So aside from that, and but also do get the like accessory like bits that we've been seeing since like 2008, but just in different colors. Oh, which good to see here, of course. Then, but also here, which holding a small blaster or on there, and also the and also little toe printing which kind of nice quite nice to see here of course but yeah and also do get two 501st heavy troopers which with that new visor piece in blue and of course like we saw on the recent phase 2 commander cody of course and torso printing on both quite nice kind of nice to see with all those tactical stuff on there and also holding the alien conquest guns with the, with the binocular piece on it, like we've seen in many sets, of course. And then last of which is which a 501st specialist, of course, but with this kind of newer style uh, visor piece that you can flip right upwards like so. So at least good to see some new things going on with it. But it also has all blue arms, when all the rest have white. It's kind of nice, odd to see there, but still wish they could have been uh, dual molded, of course. 
but and of course do have a little yellow bit on it, which is how you know it's from Battlefront 2. And on the back side, which do have some nice back torso printing on all the troops. All these troops. And of course one's in blue for this one, of course. And also some kind of protruding uh, backpack bits. So, but with the Republic symbol on it, of course. And also, as for the face printing, of which all of which have the same exact face printing thing as the last ones kind of did, but at least still not the angry clone face that we saw have been using seen since 2013 through 20, of course. And as for this me fix selection, kind of nice to see just file first troopers instead of instead of just file first troopers with battle droids, making it like an actual battle pack, of course. But yeah. And that's about it for that. And now on to this tactical walker or something. Which, from first glance, looks kind of similar to the one that came in the clone battle pack set in 2012, but with some bits around, swapped around. But actually, it's, but actually it's, at least it's still kind of working well with a few mods to it. Like these front, like all these like bits with a kind of center joint in there, and these different type, two different types of slope bits there, and and they can like pivot both sideways and up and down, of course. And also like some of the other Balpat Walker bit builds, a clear cylinder piece for that. Even though it does stand up quite well, but even though you can like remove that if you wanted. But as for this center bit up here, which as you can see, does have one of those like sitting kind of bits with a grill piece on it, of which to sit your file first trooper onto, of course. That's all the way. What I think is what they should have included, like a couple pieces that hold a control panel piece on there, of course, because because seeing it like this, then. It's like he's just not trying to control it at all, just sitting on there, but yeah. And as for this large cannon bit for it, good snot around. Also forgot to mention, see a couple of tooth pieces, most likely used as greeble detailing, that's quite effective. And also some uh, curt slopes going on to there. But as for this upper section, as you can see, it has some good snot bits and a little bit of greebling going on through there. And of course, like the uh, most other ones, you can like uh, tap on that and launch the spring load lock to it, obviously. And as for this upper cannon bit, as you see, it does consist of mainly technic bits ending up with uh, one of those recent kind of ones like we saw in the Mandalorian Starfighter a couple years ago. And also, good to see this tan technic uh, gear piece there, just as a bit of repelling, but yeah. On the back side of that, as you see, just a dark red brick sticking out there, obviously, and yeah. And so now, on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this is which a quite good set, which even though maybe a little bit different than the last Bible First Battle Pack, but at least this is which probably what how a Battle Pack usually is like, like even though instead of like two builds, instead of just one build, of course, but yeah. But also, oh, we which do have, and of course, nice to see that is from Battlefront 2, unlike with the Infernal Squad one from 2019, at least good to go alongside that one. But also, nice to see some new interesting pieces going on with the Bible First uh, Specialist, of course. But aside from that, this is which kind of a good parts pack with for like 
uh, hinge joints and things. And, yeah. and also good to see some of the like uh, visor antennas, or I mean viewfinder, or rangefinders, but in blue, of course. And hopefully they'll continue that with other clone troopers down the line. But yeah. And if you're looking to get this set, you go in your uh, bow front uh, display. Definitely pick it up. And if you're looking, and it's now, and if you're looking to continue army building in your 501st clone army, well, well definitely pick up uh, either the single one or as many as you can. But yeah, but still worth it for army building in that aspect. But yeah, in that aspect, yeah. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.